The people who live in Port Charles have been through their fair share of unexpected turns, but none of them have been more stunning than the sudden change in the cast. As soon as it was announced that Chad Duell, the actor who plays Michael Corinthos, would be temporarily stepping away from the role, fans were filled with excitement and anticipation. It wasn't long before General Hospital made the announcement that Robert Adamson, who is well known for his previous position on The Young and The Restless, would be taking up the job. Michael's character is one of the show's pillars, related to both the Corinthos and Quartermain families. Not to mention his present entanglements with Willow, Sunny, Carly, and his son Wiley. Although cast changes are a usual occurrence in the world of soap operas, Michael's character is one of the show's most important aspects. There was a lot of excitement and speculation about what might be in store for Michael's narrative with Robert Adamson's return to General Hospital. There was also a lot of curiosity about whether or not the temporary shift could hint to more significant discoveries and dramatic turns. The past few months have been a whirlwind for Michael's life. During the years that he had been going through personal challenges and heartache, his marriage to Willow Tate had once appeared to be a fairy tale, a safe heaven. Nevertheless, the shadowy undercurrents of his family's criminal existence have left an indelible mark, drawing Michael into ethical conundrums and compelling him to rethink his allegiance to his father, Sonny Cornthos. Michael's life has become even more complicated as a result of developments such as Willow's recent sickness and the strain that has arisen among the family as a result of Sonny's renewed engagement with Nina Reeves. His work at ELQ, the demands of his family, and his own growing frustrations have all taken their toll on him. He has been juggling all of these things. His outward serenity has been deteriorating as a result of the weight of competing loyalties and simmering resentments, and Michael has been teetering on the edge, both emotionally and mentally. Fans are anticipating a Michael that is possibly more sensitive, contemplative, and questioning than he has ever been known to be before Robert Adamson takes over as the new director. Is it possible that this temporary recast will provide viewers with a glimpse into the more sinister parts of Michael's mind? Willow gets a feeling that Michael is not the same or that the struggles he is going through on the inside are putting them in danger of becoming estranged from one another. As a result of his recent decision to conceal the truth regarding Sonny's betrayal and Nina's involvement, she is now questioning the decisions that her husband has made. There is a tense silence that permeates the atmosphere one evening while Willow and Michael are sitting together at their home. After taking a few deep breaths, she musters the fortitude to confront the increasing distance that exists between each of them. Willow begins her conversation with Michael in gentle voice. I have the impression that you are carrying something heavy, something that you do not wish to share with me. Michael, who is being portrayed by Adamson at this very time, is hesitating, and his eyes show a trace of both frustrated and saddened expression. Willow, it's not that I don't want to share, let me explain. I have just, I'm not sure whether you know what I'm talking about. There are certain things that are involved. Willow extends her hand and takes his hands in hers. I am aware that this has always been a challenging situation for your family, but Michael, we are a team. It is not necessary for you to go through whatever it is that you are going through by yourself. Michael heaves a sigh, his shoulders sagging ever so slightment. There are times when I am not even sure that I am aware of what is correct anymore. There are things that my father has done that have caused harm to other people. However, he is still my father. And I, I have a sense of responsibility, as if I am obligated to safeguard my family, regardless of the consequences. Understanding causes Willow's eyes to become more gentle. Michael, this is a choice that we all make. Holding on to anger and resentment, on the other hand, will only cause you harm in the long run. The chat makes an impression that lasts, despite the fact that Michael continues to be conflicted. Even as he struggles with his sense of duty and allegiance, the words of Willow continue to reverberate in his thoughts, compelling him to confront the inner agony that he is experiencing. During this time, Sonny is struggling to reconcile his love with Mina, with the rift that it has caused in his family. 
He is also dealing with his own personal troubles. The tension that Sonny observes in Michael's behavior prompts him to make the decision to address it in the hopes of bridging the distance that exists between them. Sonny pulls Michael away and says, Michael, we need to talk at some point in your life. Michael turns to confront his father, his emotions seething just below the surface. His eyes are filled with a steely resolve as he does so. What is it that you would like to discuss, Sonny? You have picked your own path. In spite of everything that Nina has done to this family, you decided to be with her. Are you really expecting me to just go along with that? Despite the intense pressure, Sonny maintains his composure and takes a deep breath. It was not my expectation that you would comprehend everything. However, I hope that you would accept my choices, even if you did not agree with them. There's more to family than merely reaching a consensus, Michael. There is a mixture of hurt and rage in Michael's voice, and it wavers. Sonny, loyalty should be synonymous with family. And you failed to live up to that promise when you allowed Nina to return to our lives. It is becoming increasingly apparent that the gap between Michael and Sonny is widening as the conversation continues to intensify. Both of them are torn apart by the terrible truth of their broken relationship, as well as by feelings of devotion and love. In the course of Robert Adamson's continued portrayal of Michael, the viewer starts to observe the character struggling with the specters of his past. Michael is extremely burdened by his feelings of animosity toward his father, his uncertainties regarding the decisions he has made, and his concerns for his own family. When he is working late at ELQ one evening, he finds himself alone and staring at a photograph of his mother and father. He feels a mixture of love and hate twisting in his chest as he continues to stare at the photos. I used to look up to you, Dad, he murmurs to the empty office, thick with sorrow in his voice. I used to look up to you because you were my hero. From this point forward, I have no idea who you are. The scene is a raw and emotional turning point for Michael and it hints at the possibility that in order for him to find peace, he may need to completely disengage himself from Sonny's influence. Michael is having a difficult time dealing with his personal issues, and he discovers an unexpected confidant in Drew Kane. Having been through his own difficulties with identification and a troubled family past, Drew is able to identify the turbulence that Michael is experiencing and provides him an ear to listen to him. Drew asks Michael, have you given any thought to what it is that you want for yourself? While they are both enjoying a drink one evening, not only as a Corinthos or a Quartermain, but as you as well. As a result of the question, Michael cannot believe it. He has never considered himself to be a separate thing. Rather, he has always thought of himself in terms of his family. Although Drew's query continues to linger in his mind, it opens the door for him to consider the option of forging his own path, independent of the expectations of his family. Widow's health takes an unexpected turn for the worse, as if Michael's life weren't already complicated enough from the beginning. After Sarah passes out one morning, Michael brings her to the hospital as soon as possible. Michael's priorities come into stark focus as a result of the crisis. His wrath towards Sonny his uncertainties about ELQ, and his issues with loyalty all fade into the background as he sits next to Willow's hospital bed and holds her hand warmly. During that very instant, Michael comes to the realization that, above all else, he desires to safeguard the life that he has constructed with Willow. It is a moment of clarity that compels him to reevaluate the things that are actually important to him. A decision that will change Michael's life is made while Willow is recuperating. He decides to leave the family business and instead concentrate on constructing a future with Willow, free from the entanglements of the Corinthos and Quartermain legacies. He does this by turning his attention away from the family business. It is a decision that his family finds shocking, but for Michael, it is a step that is liberating and brings him closer to independence and serenity. Despite the fact that Sonny is disappointed by Michael's choices, he respects his son's choice since he understands the courage it takes to forge one's own path. Carly is also prepared to lend her support, despite the fact that it is abundantly evident 
that the decision will have long-term consequences for the family. Fans are able to see a different side of Michael now that Robert Adamson is playing the role. This side of Michael is said to be more reflective, introspective, and willing to address his inner problems. Adamson infuses the role with a newfound vitality, conveying Michael's fragility, as well as his journey towards self-discovery. Fans will have a better understanding of Michael as a character, as a result of the temporary recast, which emphasizes the character's quest to find his identity. Throughout the course of the narrative, Adamson's portrayal leaves an indelible mark, illustrating Michael's transformation from a troubled son to an independent man who is prepared to leave his own mark on the world. Upon his return, Chad Duell takes on the task with a heightened level of commitment and determination. Duell does a nuanced job of capturing the transformation that Michael has undergone as a result of his journey over the previous few months on this voyage. Michael is no longer merely the obedient son or the chief executive officer of ELQ. Rather, he is a man who has chosen his own path, liberated from the shadow of the expectations that his family has for him. As Michael navigates the ramifications of his actions and the developing dynamics of his relationships with Sonny, Carly, and Willow, the return brings with it new possibilities for his character. These possibilities help Michael navigate the consequences of his choices. Fans are eager to find out what Michael Corinthos has in store for them now that Duil is back in the role. General Hospital was afforded a one-of-a-kind opportunity to delve more deeply into Michael's character as a result of Chad Duell's brief departure from the role and the subsequent casting of Robert Adamson in the role. During the course of this narrative, viewers were able to witness a pivotal period in Michael's life, one that delved into topics such as loyalty, identity, and the challenging decisions that come with being faithful to one's family. In the end, Michael emerged more powerful, more self-aware, and ready to face the future with courage. This serves as a poignant reminder that sometimes taking a step back can lead to the greatest personal progress.